Today we are talking about never before seen pieces on this channel from your favorite activewear brands. The pieces you're about to see in today's video are my current summer favorites that have not been featured on this channel. Could be for a multitude of reasons, whether we were short on time, they didn't quite fit in other videos and didn't really make sense. Sometimes pieces like this just fall through the cracks, but they're too good not to mention. We got a real nice voluptuous variety going on today. We got some sneakers, some sliders, sweats, tanks, shorts, you name it. We are talking Gymshark, Alpha Lee, Buff Bunny, Aloe Yoga, and Lululemon, just to name a few. But before we hop into it, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Mantra Labs. Mantra Labs is a nutrition company that specializes in vegan supplements. Mantra Labs was founded in 2020 by Paul Janowitz and Jared Padalecki, which you might recognize him. Any Supernatural fans out there? Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool too. As of right now, Mantra Labs has a really nice, concise list of products to choose from. My personal favorite is the Hydrate in the flavor of Lemonade. They also have a fruit punch, but I'm a lemonade kind of girl. I took this to the beach with me because I knew I was gonna be baking out in the sun all day. This is jam-packed with electrolytes, minerals, and vitamins. Now, what I love about this particular pouch that I have is the fact that they come in little convenient on-the-go travel pouches. You can also get this powder by the jug if it's more convenient for you for at home. It's a really nice way to even flavor up water if you're somebody who just finds water to be too damn bland. A huge reason why I support this brand is because their main mission is mental health awareness. You guys follow me, you know my mental health background. Everybody has their own story. On their package, they do say that they donate a portion of every sale to mental health organizations. Please join us because you can't fix what you don't talk about and talking saves lives, which is very, very true. So big shout out to Mantra Labs for using their brand for such a great cause. Definitely check them out. I'll have my discount code right here for you. I'm also hosting a giveaway with them. So hit the link down below in the description box. It'll take you right to the giveaway. Be sure to enter because you can win one of every single supplement that they have to offer. So it's a stellar prize. Do not miss out. So hit them up. Everything you see in today's video will be linked down below along with my measurements for reference. Let's start off the show with some Alpha Lee, shall we? This is their Learn More, Dream More, and Be More t-shirt. This is perfect for a pump cover. This actually just launched in their summer launch. This is part of their performance range, and it makes for the perfect pump cover. I think I've been doing pump covers all wrong. <laughs> I never really got into them, and I realized after getting this in, this is a size medium, so it's a size up from what I would normally go for. I think I've been going too small with my pumpies. For the longest time, this t-shirt was actually just an exclusive to Alpha Land. If you didn't go to Alpha Land, you don't have a chance getting it. As you guys can see right here, I paired this pump and dump cover because let's face it, it covers your dump, damn it. I paired it with the Pure Blue Amplifies. They mesh so well together. I swear, you can go with any shade and it'll work. Now, I'm not a big Lululemon buyer per se, except when it comes to the Lululemon Bliss Feels. This is my third pair. <laughs> That's right, lucky number three, I went with that fire hot red. These are always sold out. But I gotta say, one of my girls reached out to me via DMs and hooked me up with the no. I'm still new to running, but these are one of the most comfortable sneakers I've ever put on my body. I kid you not, and if you follow me on stories, you would know how I feel about these. I did actually have a gal who's really into running tell me that these are not the best for running. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, as somebody who's very inexperienced with running, don't take my word for it in that department, but aesthetic wise and comfort wise, mm, so damn good. Have we seen the Buff Bunny active dresses? Okay, this is part of that 70s collection that they just dropped last month. I'm so sorry I didn't get around to filming a video for that. It was the worst timing. It was right when we were out in LA. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually didn't have the pieces on me. I wasn't able to make the video before the launch. It was a mess. So here I am, I'm still delivering some value, right? They had a beautiful variety of active dresses to choose from, whether you like the print, that floral print that they came out with, or some more solid colors such as this one. This is their salsa red in the mesh dress. They did come out with two styles of dresses. I prefer the mesh because it gives more of a sporty look. It's a very breathable, obviously, and I love that there's a built-in bra. For crying out loud, I just bought a tennis dress from Alo Yoga the other day. It came in and there was no bra pad, no nothing, and I was so pissed I returned it. Why are you gonna charge 
charge an arm and a leg when there's no built-in bra? I, you mean to tell me I gotta go find my own bra and then you're gonna see it underneath? No. So luckily Buff Bunny really knew with the consumer, at least me, <laughs> what I wanted in an active dress. That's a built-in bra and built-in liner, yes. You do have the built-in pockets on both sides. Again, I wore this to the beach actually on the boardwalk. It really moves with your body, has a really decent amount of stretch. And I think the red is really pretty. I actually want to grab a staple black one as well. So I actually got this bra in from Alo Yoga. This is their airlift lineup bra. I don't know really what captivated me about this bra. I just think it's the overall sleekness. And if you look closely, the actual bra is a shade off from pure black, but then you have a really stark black velvety outline around the entire bra. It's something like I've never seen before. It is adjustable, very low to moderate support. Don't get it twisted, but you do still have removable bra pads and I thought that the nip seam was gonna piss me off, but when you wear it, you really don't see it. It kind of gives me that warrior feel, like this is a badass black bra, and it'll go with any of my black bottoms that I have. And I don't know if you've noticed, but lately on Instagram Reels, when you watch those real minimal day in the life where they turn the brightness down and give you a mood, they're always wearing aloe yoga. <laughs> Aloe yoga hit a bay in reels, let me tell you. So every time I see a gal wearing aloe yoga, I'm just like, okay, I gotta hit up their site now again. I think I'm coming out of left field with this one. What you're about to see, you're not gonna guess. It's Gymshark. But you ain't gonna guess it. What the hell? What, what is this, Ash? What the hell are you showing me? This is a men's legacy rag top sweater. Okay. This is Baze. <laughs> Was Baze. Was Bays, that's right. Eh, good. He got this sweater in this light gray and black. I think the big hitter for me is the fact that because it's oversized, it's a men's, it drapes down my one shoulder and is so stinking cute. Get out of here. You know, I'm a huge fan of the Legacy logo. And I love that terry cotton feel. It's a perfect summer sweater because of that. No plushness that's gonna stick to your skin. The cut off, look at this. I mean, for credit, look at that. You got the cut off looking sleeves. It even looks cut off down here. It's an effortless throw over. I have been wearing this sweater with all black underneath. So a little pop of a black strap poking through the Gymshark bandeau. Never ever, not ever, should you sleep on the men's select. Sometimes there's some serious gold to be had. While we're on Gymshark, okay. I know what you're thinking, Ash, this isn't new new, but hear me out. You can't sleep on the training, you just can't. We got training loose fit shorts, which are one of, if not, hmm, I'm about to make a bold statement, aren't I? Yeah, I would say this is probably my favorite Gymshark short ever, the loose fit. I wear it nonstop, nonstop in the summertime, every time we go for walks. I don't know what the weather's looking like by you, but here in New Jersey, it's humid, hot, and disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> that calls for a loose fit training short. What I love about the training, first of all, let's talk about this print. It looks like a cheetah digital summertime pink lemonade camo design. That's what I'm gonna go with. I still don't really, I haven't gotten this one figured out. I actually have the shorts with the matching training racer back bra, which does not have a bra padding, but it's double lined, so it's okay. And just because I'm that girl, I have the loose fit crop top to go over top, okay. So the reason why I think these are the best shorts, <laughs> I'm just saying, is because they're loose fit. You know, I always prefer a loose fit around my thighs, but I like that they're not too oversized. It's still a cute fit. It, this grip gets slippery when you sweat, so keep that in mind. Other than that, you can't go wrong. This is 100% worth it, in my opinion, when you're sweating in the hot summer heat. Guys, this is a relatively new brand for me, but nevertheless, made it to the favorites real quick. This is from the brand Ebby. Look at this bodysuit right now. At first when I got it in, I was like, there's no way this is gonna fit me, but it's one of those magic bodysuits that just stretch with your body. You check them out, they specialize in seamless wear, such as seamless undies, seamless bralettes, things you can wear underneath your leggings, which I get questions about all the time. What do you wear underneath your leggings? It's always a seamless thong. That's what I always wear, preferably nudes. So they specialize in that, and the reason they made it to the favorites is because when I received this piece and put it on, along with their other items, I was taken aback by just how comfortable and well-constructed these pieces are. This bodysuit lays so flat up against your skin, 
It's pretty effortless. There's no cinching or digging anywhere, not even around the groin area, which I hate with some bodysuits. This type of bodysuit, I like to wear it with cardigan over it, some high-waisted shorts, like baggier bottoms look the best with it. But you know me, recently I've been loving bodysuits and the more comfortable, the better. I don't have time to play around with discomfort. It also does come equipped with one of those buckles on the bottom, thank goodness, because there's nothing more awkward than being in a stall and having to take down your entire top and just go, all titties out, you know what I mean? Like, if somebody looks through the crack of that door, you're done. <laughs> These are my inner thoughts when I'm in the bathroom alone. Anywho, back to the damn bodysuit. So, uh, I really suggest checking this brand out. This actually has removable bra pads, which are nice. It's just a really nice, smooth look. And again, for my gals who need seamless undies, this is where you wanna be. Sliding to the end of the video here, we got the Alpha Elite Core Sliders. That's me being funny. So Alpha Elite released sliders for what I believe is the very first time ever. As far as I know, this is the first time they ever came out with anything like this. I wasn't expecting a whole lot, okay? I wasn't expecting a whole lot when I first heard about these because usually it's like, all right, something you've never done before, it's probably gonna suck <laughs> until you, you know, get a few tweaks going and then you make this perfect piece. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> I was definitely wrong about these. A few things to note about these sliders is the, first of all, the comfort level is a 10 out of 10. You press your fingers in, it's loaded with cushion. You also have a foot molding on the top here. I also have to make mention of underneath here, like the strap area is also cushioned so that nothing is slicing up your foot. They're overall really simple and beautiful, but you would definitely need to size down. I know for me, I went my true size six and they are a little bit big by an inch and a half. So, so yeah, I'd say these sliders are a 10 out of 10. Once you get your true size, you won't regret it. Hope you guys found this video helpful and enjoyed it. I really appreciate you being here. Let me know down below what you've tried if you're looking to try anything that I shared in today's video. And definitely don't forget to subscribe. We have a ton of fun videos coming your way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll catch you in my next video.